Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you don't know who I am already, my name is Nick Barden. I cover the Toronto Marlies for the Leafs Nation, and in today's video, we got something. We got something for you. Look at this bad boy. Now before we talk about all the details in this amazing next-gen jersey by the Leafs and Justin Bieber, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoy them, subscribe. It helps a lot, and also thank you so much for all the recent support, seriously, especially on the Curtis Douglas video, that's gonna be my most liked video, my most viewed video ever on this channel, and I really wanna thank you all for the support. It means the world, seriously, it's, it's, it's crazy, so thank you. So as you know, this jersey can be reversed. It can go from the yellow side like this, and it can go all the way out to blue, like this. And this is the jersey. This is really it. I, I'm sure I'll have some other B-roll that I recorded of it. It looks really, really good. And in person, rather than pictures, it looks a lot better. There's a lot of really cool, subtle things about this jersey. And the first thing I do wanna mention is the maple leaf in general. It's not a solid cover. It sort of is a wavy type of feel that goes from dark blue to black to dark blue. It just really provides something different than the regular white or blue logo. And it's it, it's just something cool that I thought was a nice gesture that they put in. As you can see as well, the yellow honor, pride and courage as the backwards, it, it's really cool. It's really slick. It makes it look really good. It also, now that I'm thinking about it, it's sort of like Boston Bruins colors and I, I I still like it though. It's it's still a good jersey. But looking at the stripes on the arms, it's a very nice light blue to a little dark blue, sort of like on the maple leaf itself. And then it goes back to light blue. One thing in particular though, I don't know if you know it yet, but on the middle of these stripes, there's a little silhouette. I think that's how you'd call it, but it's it, it shows the Toronto skyline. Like this is the most amazing thing ever. I don't know if you can see it. If you can, there's the CN Tower right there. But you can see that it's 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 amazing. It's I've never seen that in a jersey before, especially in the NHL. And that's just something different. It's something cool. And I, I'm it's it's I'm mind blown by it. Truly. Again, the skyline, the city, the CN Tower, all the buildings. This is one of the coolest things that I've seen in a jersey for a long time. And it, it's something that they did, although it may be such a little thing, it goes so far into the details of a jersey and it makes it 100% worth buying. One of the reasons why I didn't like their Heritage Classic jersey this year was because the no stripes on the arms. It made it to me feel like a practice jersey. And with this one, again, just having some stripes and although it's like a, it's a black color, it still looks really clean. It's, it's not, all overbearing black. It's not, it's not that if it's dark blue, it's too dark. It, the jersey itself it makes it look pretty light and makes it look really slick and I really like it. I'm just really trying to find filler here and trying to find something else about this jersey, about the, the outside part that looks really nice. But all in all, it's, it's a 10 out of 10 when you look at the front of the jersey. It, it's great, it's amazing. I don't have any numbers on it on the back. I, I just thought, as somebody who is a very serious reporter on the Toronto Marlies and cannot be being a fan of the Maple Leafs, I, I didn't get anything on the back. And to be honest, I thought it looks a lot better without any player on the front or on the back, sorry. Just because if you are to flip it inside out, which I'm going to do now, will it, it, it looks a lot better without, it, it does. So going back to where we started, and I don't know why I didn't start with this, but the front or the inside out of the jersey, the front of the inside out of the jersey. As you can see, the Leafs smiley face there, it's it's by Drew House, it was a collaboration with Justin Bieber, his company, which is Drew or Drew House and the Maple Leafs. I've had this jersey for about three or four hours now and I still haven't put it on, so you know what, let me just do that. Let's just see what it looks like. Holy sh This looks nice. All right, so this is what it looks like on. I'm gonna be honest with you. I looked in the mirror. This, I thought, you know what? You're gonna be able to see the stitching. You're gonna be able to see that. And I, I wasn't really a fan. It's gonna look like an inside out shirt, which is gonna look really weird. But honestly, honestly, this looks amazing. Like, this is something, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like wearing hockey jerseys. I'm I'm more of a collect and put it in the closet and look at it sometimes type of person. 
Um, and, and maybe at times, if I was to go to a Leaf game, put it on. Last time I went to one, I wore a Martin Marinson jersey, but this one could be something that you could wear outside. Like, this is... I, I'm, I'm dead serious. This is really nice. Again, I thought it would be a problem about the stitching, but the stitching, it's not that noticeable. This is... I got no words. This is a, more than a 10 out of 10. This is amazing. This is not biased because I hate being biased, especially about style or any hockey jerseys or any jerseys in general, but I genuinely think this is the best jersey in the NHL right now. There is... There's nothing topping it. You obviously have the nice reverse retro jerseys that just came out last season. You have a, a few other jerseys that are older style or ones that have made a return since Adidas took over and look really, really nice. But I don't think there's anything that beats this. You have a black and blue on the front, on the inside, and it, it looks really solid. And then you have, when you flip it inside out, black and gold. And the fact that they went with a company like Justin Bieber's Drew. Uh, I mean, I don't have anything else to say, but this is such a good marketing tool. This is such a good marketing thing. This helps the game grow. I mean, you look at this jersey. People are going to go out who don't watch hockey. They're going to go out and see this on a jersey, and they're going to be like, holy crap. This is reversible. I don't have to wear the Leafs part. I could just wear Drew and have that and walk around and be stylish. This is going to be something that more than just the regular hockey fan buy. Because, again, of Drew, of this absolute fire logo, and everything about it. Again, this is my unbiased opinion. I'm taking my Leafs fandom, or whatever you want to call it, out of the situation. When you look at every other jersey in the NHL right now, there's nothing that tops this. There's no reversible jersey. This is the only one, and it looks good. Black and gold. It's sleek. It's perfect. The colors go well together. It's it's everything put together. It meshes so well. Okay, since I've gone on a rant about how nice this looks, I'm, I'm gonna switch it over now, and we're gonna see the other part of the jersey, the black and blue on myself. Now, one more thing I did want to mention before I talk about this blue part is the black and gold part, when you're wearing that, it's not feeling like you're wearing a jersey inside out. It feels like a regular hockey jersey. That's one of the other things that I liked about it. I like the number of things. I think though, the feeling of it and just feeling like it doesn't feel like there's a real logo in the front on the inside, it, it helps a lot and it makes it feel a lot better. So again, for that side, I'm gonna go with 12 out of 10. It's, it's incredible. Now I'm gonna be honest, for this side, I went and looked in the mirror, I wasn't as hyped, but I mean, again, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. The fact that they go black and gold on one side, then they go black and blue on another, but have this nice CN Tower skyline thing, it, it makes it 100% really good. Like again, this blue and black, just, just color meshing all together. It makes it look so nice. The leaf, as always, looks better than ever. I think this one probably looks a lot better than their home and aways, I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it, it just looks so good, so colorful, and it's just something different that they haven't had in a long time. And I think this is something that if you're going to buy a jersey and you don't want a home and away, and you're thinking, all right, what should I buy? The arenas? Should I buy a Winter Classic? Should I buy Centennial Classic? Should I buy Stadium Series? No, 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 no. You buy this one because this is the best jersey I think I've seen in a very long time, maybe even ever. The best part is that you have a choice. If you want to go out somewhere, you want to be a Leafs fan, sure, you can put it on this side. You can wear it like that. But if you want to go out looking stylish around Toronto or wherever you're from, you flip it around, you wear the Drew side, and it goes black and gold almost with everything, really, and you just look good with it. And you say, hey, I am now a certified hype beast because I have a part of Drew House. Yeah, I'm a hype beast, so this is what I get here. We talk about great jerseys, but we also talk about the style and why it's such a big brand. And also, one more thing about it. One more thing I have that's good. And then we'll get to the one bad thing. The last final thing is when you're wearing something like Drew, if you remember back to when the Leafs released their other stuff that they did with Drew, it was like three, four, five hundred bucks. And that wasn't even for a jersey, that was for a sweater, some track pants. And now you look at this, this is, I paid $200 for this. $200 with no name, which I think is the best. 
and it looks really clean. It looks really good. And I, I think that if you have that money to spare on it, I, I literally just bought this for the YouTube video. Maybe I'll wear it around in the summertime. It's going to be really hot though. But if you have the money to spare, get this jersey. Get it because it's worth it. It's 100% worth it. All right, so now the final thing in the video, I've probably rambled on a lot and I'm sorry about that, but this is amazing jersey. I got to talk about the amazing jersey that it is. So the last thing though is the fighting strap. Now, unfortunately, when you do flip it inside out, there is a fighting strap. I don't know why they chose to keep it on there, um, but anyone in your family, a friend who knows sewing, I'm sure is going to be able to take that off. I don't know if you'd have to take off this whole yellow part or just this white part, but it, it can be easily removed. I think it, if you want to do it yourself, you take, probably take a bunch of scissors and just cut it. That's what I was going to do, but that would probably be not the smartest. But out of everything, and this is not even a big deal because you can get it off. Out of everything, this is the only problem I have with it. Just this fighting strap that can easily be taken off. I don't know why, again, they included it, but again, this is one thing out of 10 things on this jersey this is the only one thing maybe maybe the fact that you can see the tag on the front or when you're wearing it inside out sorry but other than that like nothing there's nothing this jersey is 100 percent worth it to buy it's it's better in person it's better than that when you're putting it on you feel like you're putting on something that you paid 200 dollars for it's again 100 percent worth it do it, make sure you buy it. And I'm not getting paid to by anyone to say this, um, but it is 100% worth it, 1 million percent. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on now. So again, I wanna thank you all so much for the support on the recent videos. It it's truly means a lot and it's, it it's crazy to see all the support. So thank you so much. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe and go out and buy it if you'd like and comment down below what you think of the jersey whether or not you think it's good or bad or if you're gonna buy it or if you think where it ranks in your jersey collection let me know in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching again we'll see you in the next video